when my father died, um, when my mother was four months pregnant with me. Um, so we know, no one knew anything about cholesterol back then. It was just a heart attack and that was the end of it. As a little girl, I would have uh, pain in the back of my heel and I would be in so much pain, I couldn't participate in sport, in school, and the nudges, you know, the cholesterol buildup was behind my ankle. And my mom would say, oh, put a little bit of ointment on it, it'll go away, but it never did. Now, years later, we realized it was cholesterol buildup. In 2000, I lost a brother at 37. He was under the care of a cardiologist as well. And that's when he said to me that the cardiologist said, we need to be tested. Siblings need to be tested. And so I was tested in 2002 because I was in denial. I didn't want to have cholesterol. But having the key to success with this is to have the right doctors on your side. Now, not everybody can go into a doctor's office and say, hey, I want to be genetic tested because I think I have high cholesterol. It has to have a pattern. So my pattern was my father, my brother, my sister. Um, it just didn't happen overnight for me. And then I had nodges in my hands. There were uh, plaque buildup in my hands that if you can see, visible to the eyes, knowing that it's not common for people to have these things. And so, um, knowing your body is the most important thing. So it's an incredible feeling when you have the right regimen of medication and, and, and stuff on your side. It's, it's a great feeling. And I would say it, I would preach it to the rooftop for everyone to go get genetic testing done. If they have high cholesterol and they realize that medication is not working, speak to your doctors, try to see if you're qualified to be genetically tested.